Hi, I'm Bill Bird. I'm a bespoke orthopedic shoemaker, and I've been working out of this Nissen hut since 1988. I first became apprenticed at a bespoke bootmaker's in the West End of London in 1976. There, I learned to carve made-to-measure lasts by hand. And I first began to understand the wide range of foot and walking problems that can happen to people and how to help solve their problems with bespoke orthopedic footwear. Having had a significant foot problem myself, which was completely relieved by bespoke footwear, I wanted to do the same for others and give them too the pleasure of walking with ease again. If you have a look, you'll see that the wood leaves the table under here. So if I was to cut out here, it would bang down. So I'm going to cut in the outline from here around to here where the wood is solid on the table. And then I'm going to show you a trick of how to cut the outline from above, even though you can't see the line. In this video series, we focus on the highly specialized skills needed for making elegant, stylish footwear for people with fitting and walking difficulties. There's a lot of educational material on making shoes on the internet. However, here you will learn how you can transform a person's life through applying the concepts used by the bespoke orthopedic shoemaker. What sweeps up and suddenly it climbs the shin, very, very distinct point. By making the right decisions at every stage of the shoemaking process, the right style, this is made out of kid, this is made out of a light calf leather. This is made out of a cordovan, actually, beautifully polished. You not only help them recover their mobility, but just as importantly, their self-worth and self-confidence. A successful orthopedic shoe begins with producing the last. We start by learning how to measure the foot. I'm coming around into the soft tissues behind the first toe joint. So that short heel is a very critical measure. So if we take the foot off, here we have uh, a standing length, a sitting length, a trace of the foot, and we know that that trace is three and a half millimeters larger than the foot. And then transferring the two-dimensional drawing into an accurate three-dimensional tool for making the shoe. And you can see that what we've got is like an architecture section and plan for a building, only this time it's a really dynamic 3D shape of a last. There are over 60 medical conditions affecting the foot, all of which I have found through experience can be assigned to one or more of only eight condition categories. This is a, a, a last for a child with dystrophic EB, and you'll notice the very, very round shape. That isn't caused by the disease. That is caused by the bandages. The foot is so fragile that it is completely covered in bandages. And uh, so um, I didn't actually measure the foot. I measured the bandages within the sock, and which gives this very, very round shape. This is a shoe we made for somebody with dystrophic EB. You see it's lined with very soft fleece. The fleece is not only soft, but it wicks away any moisture and keeps the, the skin relatively dry. And it's coming out through the bandaging. These videos are freely available to all in order to pass on the skills and inspire the new generation of bespoke orthopedic shoemakers.